All right, so the next few blocks I'm going to show you are uh, part of a after you get a repeater network out, and they are all based around the relay source, which is a block that you place down, and after a few seconds, it will make a call from that uh, creative pylon right there, and get some lumens in it. It is gaining them a little slowly at the moment, but eh, whatever, it works. Um, and this thing will output power to these uh, Omni relays. I'm using Omni because they're pretty cheap and they uh, transport all the colors and I'm not looking for specific colors. Now you notice that this guy isn't actually getting power at the moment. That's because you have to set the input side for the relays. And to do that you just take an elemental manipulator and right click on one of the sides. Alright, so I'm back, and as I was saying, you need to right-click the relays with your manipulator, and if you can just see it, um, when you're looking at it from the side, for some reason my colors are all messed up at the moment, um, you see a little flashing symbol on there. That denotes the input side, and then when you go and look at the lumen fences right over here, you'll notice that they have the Kuro. Now, uh, looking over at these guys, these guys are both empty, that is because... You need to click the input sides and the nifty things about these relays is they can be placed on any side of the block and they will actually transmit so now the uh, crystal furnace and the elemental farmer are both filled all right so moving on to the blocks that the this relay power source can power one of them is the uh, lumen fences to set up a lumen fence you sh uh, shift right click the, uh, one of the lumen fences sides to set the output then you right click to set the input and shift right click to set the output I've already done so red is input green is output and when you do that it creates the outline of the fence let's do that over here and do it on the correct side nope nope I have to do it correctly on the first side and there you go. And you can make these dynamically any shape that you want. They are a little loud, but I will show you one thing that's pretty cool about these. Once it is finished recognizing its border, it will then repel all mobs and damage them. This guy is still deciding if it likes its border. Once it does, it will repel the mobs, stop making all the sounds, and do that. So, yeah, the uh, lumen fences are pretty darn cool. Next up, we have the crystal furnaces. The crystal furnaces are like any other furnace, but they run on crystal power. Now, the cool thing about the crystal furnaces is they will pretty much double anything that you put into them. Let's say you have a bunch of, mm, let's say iron, since most people will have iron. In fact, I don't believe it's possible to not have iron. Anyway, let's say you have a stack of iron ore flakes, which you get from the grinder or the extractor from Rotary Craft. Put them in there. You'll notice that it consumes power. You, it consumes the blue at a far faster rate than any other power, but it also greatly increases its operation speed when consuming the blue power. You'll notice that it uh, took... 32 iron flakes to make a stack of iron ingots um, Pretty much what it does is it doubles any input and gives you one, uh, For one input you get two output for pretty much any uh, Recipe the elemental farmer is much like the fan although except for being in a straight line. It is conal shaped and um, Runs off of lumen power. It also operates much faster than the uh, fan does in terms of its harvest speed it can keep up with the aura locust which is absolutely insane for crop growth and i'll demonstrate when that when i get to the aura locust the last um uh lumen uh, i mean relay thing that i will be showing you guys is called the crystal laser the crystal laser in and of itself doesn't do much until you put in a lens stick in a red lens it will start uh absorbing red power here give it a moment there we go and it emits a red beam 
And when you stand in the beam as a player, it will give you resistance too. Which is pretty nice. But uh, that's not exactly useful. Let's stick in a Kajani lens. Kajani lens accelerates crop growth because it is uh, the crop aspect. But it's not actually going to accept it until uh, it does. And now it's uh, accelerating crop growth. And it does have a range of 128. And will pass through non-solid blocks. So, funny interaction. Pretty much all the stuff in Rotary Craft, it will pass through. Like right now it is passing through a stone shaft. Alright, so that is the crystal la uh, laser. Next up, we're going to be uh, getting into the item distributor. And I have to build an ME system real quick, so be right back.